So while we're on the subject of changing IP addresses, why don't we take a look at how to do that right now? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use something called the IP configuration utility to see what our IP address settings are. So to do that, we just go start, run, or we can go to the command shell, but then we're going to go to run, type in CMD, hit enter, and then type in IPCONFIG. And here we get our IP address. We get our subnet mask, which is something we'll discuss later, and we get our default gateway, another thing we're going to cover. Let me show you another command. A barrel space forward slash all. This tells the IP config utility to give us all its information. Ah, so now we get all kinds of stuff. When you're done with this course, all this stuff will make perfect sense to you. But for now, we want to look at the IP address. We want to look at DHCP enabled. Yes, that means we're presently set to receive a DHCP address from a DHCP server. And there's the address of our DHCP server. So where do we go to change these settings? We go to start, connect to, or we can go to control panel. network connections and we find our connection in here now these 1394 connections these are not network connections these are actually USB ports my wireless adapter has been disabled so that leaves the local area connection number 20 so I click on that right click oh, oh and by the way if we go to status and then support and details we can pretty much get all the same information we got from the IP configuration utility my preference is to use the command prompt so let's go back in here and right click go to properties and then we scroll down to internet protocol TCP IP properties and hit properties and we get nothing. Well, why do we get nothing? Well, that's because we have not specified an IP address for this computer. So it's set to its default of just obtaining an IP address automatically. The IP address is not really recorded in here. If we want to set it manually, we would simply just uncheck this by checking this. Use the following IP address. And then we start typing away. So what we want is 192.168 dot one dot two two now watch what happens when I hit tab it's a little convenience feature which adds the proper subnet mask for us automatically so I hit tab again and we're going to give ourselves a default gateway which is something which is very important and we'll discuss a little later one nine two six eight dot one dot one DNS server something not going to specify anything right now but this is a very important network service that we'll discuss later so let's hit OK hit close and let's see what happens with our IP configuration utility I left the window open so I can just up arrow to recall the same command and hit enter boom there's what we just set so you see it's actually pretty simple to play with these settings now in my case I want to stick with what my DHCP server gave me so I'm going to go back and simply check this check that boom I'm done let's go back to our command prompt and there we have our same old IP address and DHCP is enabled once again.